Hi, my name is Carly Auer and I'm a classical homeopath at Auer Family Homeopathy in Mesa, Arizona. I have two children who have been raised on homeopathic medicine. Homeopathy has been such a gift in our lives and I'm so happy today to be here to share it with you. I'm a graduate of the American Medical College of Homeopathy in Phoenix, Arizona and on behalf of AMCH we would like to welcome you to our new self-help homeopathy program. I invite you to visit us at selfhelphomeopathy.com. We have 30 different programs in a variety of topics from acute back pain to cold and flu to autism spectrum disorders. The great thing about these programs is that in addition to focusing on a specific ailment, they also offer an introduction to general homeopathic and holistic medicine. So if you've ever wanted to learn about homeopathy and how it can help you, this is a great place to start. Visit us at selfhelphomeopathy.com. Here is a brief clip from this program suggesting homeopathic remedies that are useful in treating this condition. The first remedy, and perhaps the most classic, is belladonna, which is also called nightshade. Um, belladonna is probably our main remedy for strep throat and more severe sore throats, particularly ones that occur on the right side of the throat. And another important question when you're taking the case of someone who has a sore throat is what side does it occur on? Belladonna specifically affects the tonsils and it develops fairly rapidly, typically with high fever, at least 103 degrees. There is a lot of inflammation with belladonna and a lot of burning and redness, usually a dark red uh, of the throat. The throat looks angry and swollen. And there can be canker sores or small ulcers in the mouth, on the tongue, or in the throat. Modalities of belladonna include that they are worse from the slightest touch of the throat, turning the head, worse from motion, and swallowing liquids, and also cold air. The classic description of the tongue is that it looks like uh, has has a strawberry appearance, and that is bright red with sort of white punctate areas mixed in, although it doesn't have to have that appearance to need belladonna. In addition to the high fever, one of the striking characteristic symptoms with belladonna is that they can have cold hands and cold feet despite the high fever. The second homeopathic medicine to mention is Hepar sulfurous calcarium or calcium sulfate. These sore throats um, are somewhat different than belladonna. They do affect the tonsils, but there tends to be uh, much more pus and mucus associated with Hepar sulfurous. Also, the pain typically is more severe with Hepar and it's described as splinter-like or sharp, like a fish bone stuck in the throat or something like that. Another characteristic symptom of HEPAR is that the pain extends from the throat into the ears. The symptoms can be worse either on the left side or on the right. There's not a sidedness with this remedy. And typically they are worse at night it is extremely chilly remedy, and so um, they are worse from cold air, cold drinks, or cold food, and better from warm air, warm drinks, and warm food. Also, they're worse from yawning, stretching, or turning the head, or swallowing. Think of HEPAR when you have any canker sores or ulcers associated with the sore throat. It's also one of our main remedies for peritonsillar abscess. 
In terms of the disposition uh, or mental state of those who need HIPAR, they tend to be quite anxious um, and desperate. 